Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Jane's Fighters Anthology. Now in our last couple of missions we uh, did a few more combat sweeps. Cairo has been taken. Uh, the, uh, the, the back of their air force has been broken. We took out most of their remaining armored vehicles. So hopefully this war should be coming to an end very soon. But let's see if that actually happens. Homecoming, Faid Air Base, date October 10th, local time 1100 hours, weather cloudy, situation, secular Egyptian leaders in exile are returning for the first time since the war began. Mission objective, escorts transport aircraft carrying the Egyptian heads of state, protecting it from revenge attacks by any unexpected rebel fighters, threat suppression data, ground opposition on air opposition unknown. So, oops, uh, we look here. There's no basis for rebel fighters to be operating from, so in theory, we shouldn't even have a mission, but... Uh, okay, so they're flying in on a C-17, curiously enough. I figured heads of state would fly in, like, a commercial aircraft, you know, one of those executive ones. Also, I think it says something that, you know, they completely set out the war in a foreign country that probably isn't endearing them to their people very much. Okay, so of course we will take the F-22, and of course we will go for maximum range, and probably 80% fuel. And, um, we only have the two sidewinders left, so we're going to have to make do, and with that, let us start the mission. out, waiting for radar returns, we've got a, uh, okay so we just got the one wing there, and we're going to catch up to this guy real quick, nothing on the RWR curiously enough yet, oh, we have radar contacts, Oh, it looks like it's time for us to move the... Oh! Where did you come from? Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Range 60 miles. Floating. I think we're going to kick in the afterburner for this one. You know, I will say, I kind of feel like this IFF is pointless since... Anything that's a hostile has this empty box, or it's like anything that's a friendly is uh, get in here. He's always it's always going to have an X. And the computer, I don't think, takes system damage in the way the player does. So they, you know, their IFFs won't get damaged. I mean, it's a neat feature, and certainly in like a hardcore sim, it'd be more useful, but. We're going to range back into, uh, 100 miles here. Actually, we could probably put it into 50. At least until we deal with these guys. And I think we got a two-ship formation here. Oh, three-ship. Okay, I was like, we should be gobbling down fuel. We probably lay off the afterburner now, kind of just coast in. Once we get within 15 miles, we'll probably uh, put out our jammers and try to scare them. And get, make sure their attention is directed to us. We certainly do not want these guys going after the heads of state.
a jailhead. If they are going to notice us, then I am. There we go, they noticed us. Alright. First flight defeated. That <laughs> one missile almost had us. Fortunately, dumping that huge chat cloud seemed to have saved us. So now, the F5s are a lesser threat, so I feel more. Uh, Uh, yeah. So somehow, despite not having any air bases, the rebels seem to be able to launch uh, plenty of aircraft. Still, we'll save our. Uh, I guess it's time to throttle up again. We'll save our. Um, It looks okay. This guy's coming from off map, so in this sense, I could see him coming from Libya. I could see that, yeah. Especially since at this time Gaddafi would have still been in power. He hates the U.S. He probably didn't particularly like the secular U.S. aligned Egyptian government. All right. The F5s have spotted us. We have a three ship formation. Wingman, you are free to engage. Normally he gives me some sort of confirmation that he's attacking. Okay, let's slow down so we can actually corner these guys a bit. Oh, we are going. Are you going to attack, or, uh... He should have launched Amrans by now. Alright, that's one. I like how he doesn't fire until after he breaks off. Uh, protect me? Now? Oh. God damn it, wingman. Someone just dropped case. Alright. Range out. What do we got? There we go. We have... Squadron of F-16, so switch to AMRAMs. And hopefully these will be the uh, last guys. Now these guys are coming from uh, south of Egypt. I want to say... Oh shit, my country is south of Egypt. Uh, oh hey, the rebels do have a... Oh, they had to add runway for... Wait, no. I'm curious. Oops. Uh, I wonder if they actually had to add an airbase. 
this for these guys because I do not remember an airbase being that far south. Alright, we can speed up time a little bit. I don't think we're in any danger of these guys catching up to the dignitaries. Contact, you're 12 o'clock slow, 4, 7 miles. The Mirage is found this, but the F-16s are still blind somehow. Oh, it's, uh, that works out well for us. Mirages are easier to deal with. Another three ship formation, of course. Kind of let them off the uh, rack early, try to disrupt their formation. And we still hit him. I think we got him. Two o'clock low. Clock low. Yeah, okay. So these guys are the last guys, hopefully. Now, uh. Yeah, we're down to, uh, eight shafts, so. We do have to be mindful of that. To that end, I'm gonna go in full throttle and just try to get inside the range of their radar guided missiles. Let's see if our wingman has, uh, any am ramps left. Yeah! I'm taking a shot. Guess he's got at least one. Oh, is this just a two ship formation? Can't find any bandits, and that's like. Okay, mission's over now. Alright, so now we can just watch as the dignitaries fly themselves in. And that it's one thick plane. I guess these uh, either must be fuel tanks or um, storage for the uh, landing gear, I had a guess. So it should almost be to its waypoint, actually. Yeah, I don't see any, like, these all have names under them. This guy doesn't, so I'm thinking he might, uh, might not be a, uh, might have been something added to simulate them coming out of Libya or something. All right, looks like they are landing. And we'll go to our landing launch. Must be Cairo. And we should be getting the mission accomplished any second. Mission accomplished. There we go. So he's landing in Yeah, at the Cairo airport. So and we're gonna land at Faid, like our briefing said. I actually want to get below these clouds. Uh, and then get down to waypoint Delta. Drop our Bearing throttle down. Descent to Angel Zero. Switch to navigation mode. This is probably. Uh, oh, no, he's taking off. There's our airbase. Oh, we are way off. Just don't wanna 
stall because we are okay. The C5 is actually landing, not taking off. No, we're still actually really fast for being at only 30% uh, throttle. The F22 has some insane. Sell the 250 nuts, deploy landing gear. And we shouldn't be following this close to the transport, but I don't care. I just hope he gets out of the way fast enough. We might. At this rate, we might catch him. Because this guy is really slow. Now I know he's gonna go way off the runway, because these runways are insanely short, but okay, he's touched up, we should be fine. Just drop the throttle a bit more there. Which strikes me as odd, because normally the computer has a fairly good instantaneous control rate over its, uh, over its speed, you know, more so than it normally should. There we go, dropping altitude again. Oh wow, that is super responsive. And... Clear to land. I will take your clearance and run with it. <laughs> Welcome home. There we go. Let's try to uh, run in and park before the C5 decides to uh, beat us to the punch. And our wingman should now have his clearance to land. Oh, apparently we need a bit more time. Let's see what our throttle is actually at. 60 knots. That's decent. Alright. Yeah, the C5 is just making it back to the runway. <laughs> Probably have to wait a little bit for our wingman, but we're used to that by now. Oh, 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 oh! Wrong time compression, about to, wrong about to. Ah, uh, we'll park in front of that house. Right. Get a little more speed to finish up our parking maneuver. There we go. Now we can just wait for our wingman to come in. And hopefully the AI is smart to, uh... Did it just... Did someone just drop... drop tanks? That's what it sounded like in... I don't think the C5 is fitted with drop tanks normally. I mean, I don't see why it couldn't be, but other than the fact that I don't know if it actually even has hard points for drop tanks because it has such an outrageous internal fuel capacity.
right. So there you have it. The dignitaries are back. And we have a beautiful little parking arrangement there. Is that another? Oh no, it's an F-16, so. Let's see if we can get a little bit better shot. Probably not. Actually wanted the uh, big boy here who is oops. Who is apparently part way in his uh, shelter already that he can't fit in so all right with that uh let's end the mission the forces of religious despotism have been vanquished and freedom has once again been restored to egypt the cradle of mankind's collective civilization the world remains indebted to every soldier who participated in this just and noble cause. Let each and every free Egyptian rejoice with the task of rebuilding a nation that embraces the ideals of peace and liberty for all. USA! 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 All right. <laughs> Debrief, Fayyid Air Base, date October 10th, mission homecoming, resolution success. Secular leaders are once again in control of Egypt and security in the Middle East has been restored. Your country remains deeply indebted to you for valiant conduct in this war. None of us took damage, we had six kills, our wingman and five, so good showing about our wingman. Um, all of our AMRAMs hit. Ooh, half our gun rounds hit, that's pretty good. Uh, all of our wingman's missiles hit. I guess he must have used a uh, sidewinder or two mixed in with some of his AMRAMs. Uh, holy shit, there were 15 missile launches on us. One failed due to our stealth, one failed due to our jamming, and the rest were spoofed by our insane chaff load. And then I remember that F5 tried to shoot us after he had turned away, which was stupid of him, so. So yeah, with that, the... Uh, the Egyptian campaign has been completed, so we are now a veteran of Vietnam 1972 with the, what was it, the Linebacker 2 or Rolling Thunder, I think it was the Linebacker 2 campaign, uh, Ukraine 1997, protecting them from Russian imperialism, the Kuril Islands 1997, uh, protect, helping Japan to retake the uh, Kuril Islands that Russia kind of stole after World War II. Actually, that was, I don't know if I ever talked about it, it was really stupid. So basically, you know, at the beginning of the war, the U.S. made a deal that, you know, once Germany was defeated, Russia would help us with Japan. Because at the time, you know, things looked bleak, right? Well, eventually we came in and, you know, after a year or two, we started kicking ass left, right, up, down, and center. And, um, you know, so we were at the home islands by the time that the, uh, we and the Russians and the British had all defeated Germany. So what, what did Russia do? They uh, sent a unit to Manchuria and defeated some of the uh, Japanese forces in mainland Asia. And then at the peace negotiations, they demanded the Kuril Islands. <laughs> it was kind of stupid. I don't really think Russia should have gotten as much as they did from Japan. But, you know, everyone was in a kind of fucked Japan mood. But, and that's still a point of contention today. But, yeah. And then we have Egypt, 1998. So we are just out there. I don't even... I don't even know how... We, we had a, almost 200 confirmed kills from this campaign alone. I mean, I, I really enjoy these games, but the other hand, like... I think even the highest scoring ace in all history would have had that over like a career. <laughs> Whereas we have that over 40 missions, but. Oh, in any case, that concludes the Egyptian campaign, and I think. Let's see. Now, my hope is that this will unlock the Egyptian. missions in our oh it doesn't okay all right so i'm gonna have to uh 
do some digging to try to extract the one mission. Because I know I missed one mission that um, had a recording failure on, so I'm going to work on getting that. Uh, until that's ready, I think we have plenty of quick missions we can do to go through the... Well, there's the Islamic Egyptian um, inventory we can go through, the secular Egyptian inventory we can go through, which really is going to be mostly the same as the Islamic Egyptian. Um, we can go through some of the things we uh, didn't play as, uh, like the X-31. I know we used that in a few training missions, but we can still... Uh, use that so there's plenty of stuff for us to go through so with that thank you all for watching and stay tuned for next time and we'll see you then